How's it going, everybody? So today we are integrating OBM 2105 with uh, Optic 2108. And I think the procedure is quite the same. So we are going to try and uh, yeah, do it uh, exactly as uh, the previous one was done. So I have a master in OBM. I have my Vertica app. And uh, as I say, sessions are open. So we start with wget. Probably I need to download the wget. No, I do not. And then we will unzip the tools integration and enter the directory. Oh, that was super fast. Okay, very good. And then we will get the OBM tools. So that's the uh, get OBM suite files. Did I do something? Get OBM tool. Did it work? Setup tool, yeah. Okay, so it would just take everything into account on the current system, like certificates and configurations, addresses, and create a custom-made uh, integration tool uh, that you can use with your OBM. All right, so that's the name of the tool, OBM configuration jar. So we're going to uh, copy the OBM configurator jar to the uh, OBM server. This, um, say yes, and specify the file, the file, sorry. And there it is. Okay, now we will go to our OBM server and we get the certificates that we need for integration. So uh, that's the certificate uh, that I have. Let me see if my command fits the example that I used. It might. Uh, four, two, three, one, four, three, yeah, it's very good that I <laughs> use the same uh, OBM uh, version uh, that I used to write the documentation, right? So we say yes to approve the server, we specify the file, it's basically copy files any way you want. Okay, and then we will go to master and we will enter the interim uh, directory and list it. Let's see what we got on side. We got a lot of things. And I'll use uh, the command over here, but I need to change the ops bridge suite. Can I use a uh, loud card? Let's hope I can. Can I? Oh, really, I really hope it wouldn't fail me <laughs> on the wildcard. So basically what it takes, it, um, it grabs the certificate and uh, it applies uh, the, uh, uh, well, the certificate from OBM to uh, the pods that should res respond to it later. So it imports it. So I, this is what the ideal config does. Ideal config does a little bit more than that, but uh, essentially it will allow the configurator jar uh, that we copied to function on the OBM side, which means that the whole Helm upgrade should work. And then we need to wait for the pods to come up. And only then, only then we can continue the OBM integration. So the Helm upgrade itself should not take too long. There it is, but we do need to see uh, what is the status, All right? So kubectl get pods names bridge, bridge namespace ops bridge, and there's the init uh, things. Okay, so well, we are going to say grep uh, init, and uh, we will watch it every 10 seconds there we go let's see how it worked did it work for the initializing that's it i probably should have used some other wild card but that's okay that's okay and uh, We'll just wait for all of them to disappear. Probably it will be the same thing. All right. 
Okay, so it is done as I see. Uh, yeah, most of the pods are okay, and we are ignoring that pod for eternity. So now I need to run a uh, command that would make the jar sparkle. And something is weird with my setup because I must specify uh, the certificate. Uh, which is really weird, uh, but yeah, I really must. So let me run this, and I hope I don't need to reboot my OBM server. Let's see, let's see how it goes. It, uh, yep, it's going to ask me for a password only once. That's the um, uh, password that uh, it will set up for the integration. And later this would be imported into the um, event submitter or event poster or whatever the mechanism is on a master. So it would know how to communicate with uh, OBM with a user that already exists. All right, let's see. Content pack already exists in the version that we try to use naturally. Continue going. So far, so good. Okay, the coin content pack. So let's go to OBM and to our connected servers. Let's see if there is an effect already. Not yet, not yet. Content pack also data late event animation already deployed. Okay, so this one is not deployed. Okay, fantastic. All right, and there's our user prompt. So let's provide the password twice. Very good. Close, close content pack. So this is the content pack that is responsible for uh, removing some of the uh, events that are not getting closed by the integration. Is there a refresh button over here? Not anymore. Let's see, let's go. There it is. Also data lake, it exists. Very good, very good. Let's continue uh, the thing. So it creates a file called configure suite uh, dot, uh, zip. And actually it's going to be used even for the OBA integration just for easiness, but I need to copy uh, this uh, file to uh, the, uh, back to the master server. Go like this, and we just say the password. There it is. Fantastic. So now we will just go to the root directory and we will unzip it. And we will enter and list all of the contents of that thing. Uh, let's see what we have. Yeah. Okay, now we will run a bash setup of VM with a chart that is not uh, the right chart. So I'm going to put an asterisk over here just because it's fun. Use the wild card. Not always works, but uh, okay. So we did the endpoint and we put, we put everything and now we'll get more pod updates someplace. Yeah, where, 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 where? I think some of them should uh, get updated a little bit. Maybe not. No. Yeah, okay. And now we'll go back to OBM server, and let's see if it imported the certificates. If you remember, initially, this is all the certificates that we had. So let's see if it did import the certificates. Well, of course it did, because we saw it, saw it in the uh, GUI zone. And now it is our time to do something really cool, AEC test. So this opens kind of two um, events from the send event script. 
to OBM and we need to go to workspace event perspective to see what is going on. All right. So there's the test end, test start, and we need to just let it live. Let's let it uh, be for a short while. Not, not like this. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes for it to work. And we once we see that, there is another thing that we can do. We can uh, create a pulsar integration. But the uh, question is, do we want it? Uh, in this scenario, and probably we don't, uh, but uh, it should work pretty much easily. All right. Okay. And uh, basically, there it is. The most important part of this, uh, uh, well, when it doesn't work on the first attempt because we need for at least one of the correlation jobs to uh, finish after we did the integration. And after this, the uh, timing starts working properly and we get the, uh, the AC events. And this concludes the integration. There is the uh, Pulsar job integration. Uh, it appears in my other video. It's uh, an interesting one, but we're not going to use it at the moment uh, because we don't want to create a very complex AEC schema, not in this lab. So anyway, this was really good and I'll see you next time.